Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and today I'm going to be starting a new series on Battle Brothers. Now, I've tried yesterday to record an opening video, however I completely fucked up by having my microphone switch to my webcam, which meant that the audio was pretty fucking awful. So this is a restart, and hopefully get it off the ground. Uh, I played a little bit more as well, campaign-wise, just get grips with the game, and died every single time. So this should either be a very short let's play or a very long one. <laughs> so we're going to start off here anyway. New campaign. So this is going to be the Let's Not Die Company. Actually no. Early retirement. Right. We are going to put it on challenging difficulty. To do And let's pick a flag here. Do sticking green for Ireland, but no. A really good selection of flags here as well. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so let's start off here. Now, I did notice that this game tends to crash a little bit on this loading screen, so hopefully it won't crash. Hopefully. Hey, we're in. So it all went wrong two days ago, you fucked up and your company got ambushed. To do as the hail subsides, you draw your weapon with the rest of your men, only to collapse to your knees. An arrow has punctured your side. You shout in pain. A harried glance sees the men charge without you to make a valiant last stand. Met in force, a steel clashes with steel. You meet eyes with the captain, a last knot before his throat is cut. You're left in command now of what few men remain. Trembling in pain, you lean on your sword, and with all your will, you slowly rise again. F fabulous. Well, there goes the cap. Right then, let's see how we play this one out. Now, I do have the music on, however, that might change in future videos, as YouTube has really annoying tendency to content lock things when you've got music playing. So let's see how this one bears. 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 I don't know what I'm speaking about. So, aim shot, do do do, 49% chance, 40 and 46. I don't really get the mats behind that. Uh, 49, there we go. Ooh, beautiful shot there. Yep, one down. I really don't like the uh, white orb thing that shoots out when you get a hit. The first couple of times I played, I thought it was like a eyeball or something getting <laughs> knocked out of the head. But it's, um, I think it's to do with the, um, what we call it, this one down here, the morale of the troops. I think it's like they're losing morale when they get hit. It's a bit of a shame, I'm really not a fan of that feature. I'm going to pull you back a little here. Okay. Yep, yeah, we missed. Oop. Yeah. Oop, he got stunned. Jesus, you're blind. You're gonna get fucked up here now. Hope we don't lose that guy. Jesus, he is a really fucking piss poor shot here. Oh, I do think this guy's gonna die now. Okay, let's see what loot we got. Ooh, nice. Some weapons. Fuck it. 
There we go. So let's take a look here now. You're alive, you won, the adrenaline fades, and in its wake you can't help but sink back to the ground. It looks like you won't be holding a sword anytime soon. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow's shaft, your chest heaves for breath, feeling the pain well up in your very lungs. Most of the company lies dead, all those men you fought with side by side in the shield wall this past year. And Hoggart did justice to his name, like the weasel that people mock him to be. What now? A voice says from behind, it's Rupert, who sits down beside you, bedding his bloody axe on his legs. It's a weird way of putting it. Uh, you turn to him to reply, but before you can answer, he continues. The captain's dead. They slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader. But all it took was one mistake. That makes you the one in charge now, don't it? Gerhard joins the two of you, still breathing heavily. Let's save the anointments for another day. I figure we give the men a good burial and return to Stoll to collect our pay. The weasel's men are slain, after all, even if the man himself fucked they fuck tail <laughs> tucked tail and ran pg warning on this video and we ought to see that arrow sticking out of you before and we ought to see to that arrow sticking out of you before we lose another man so be it okay better head to town and drink some red bull Do -do -do. Trying to figure out if there's a way to speed up the um, overworld. Well, sorry, display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive and stole four bloodied and beaten mercenaries. Yeah, yeah, we got beat up. Guy welcomes you to the house. How did you fare? Well, you know, didn't really go to plan. Okay, a pin knife's through your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one break. Theobald, the trade master, takes on a grave look, and he quickly hides his face behind a drink of wine. Finding Brett, you give answer to his asinine question. Actually, what the hell does asinine mean? That's one that I'm going to have to Google. We killed all of Hoggart's men, and he, but he managed to elude our blades in the end. The healer waves around a glowing fire poke, suggesting he wants to push it into your wound. You nod as he does so. This really sounds wrong. <laughs> For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a pinch of fire, flesh from flame. As the pain subsides, you come to see. You come to see. That Theobald, the trade master's mood is lightened. So for all his men so all his men are dead then. Well, that's that. I see. A good thing you removed that threat for stole, but that man truly is elusive. We expect to get paid for this. Well, naturally, I'd give my word, didn't I? A hundred crowns for every man, so as I see it, that's four hundred crowns for the four of you. He gestures towards the servant who nods and hands him a wooden chest from which to take the pay. Over exposition there. I wonder, may I make use of your services one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that is Hoggart the Weasel once for all. I would pay you again, of course. Another four hundred crowns. Shall we say? Rupert scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but Gebhardt stands to speak. Yes, the company is a room, but we can rebuild it. You know, Rupert? He'd drink the crowns away and end up begging on the streets, and Alwyn wouldn't fare any better chasing the worm folk. For one stove his rotted head in. We need early retirement. <laughs> we need early retirement. Nice one. It's all we have. What say you, Captain? Rupert burps. <laughs> Man, that name really worked out well there. Uh, Rupert burps and raises his cup to you. Alwyn playfully tums his nose and nods. You're their captain now, and your men look to you for leadership. Yes, we have unfinished business. Well, looks like we're off to kill Hoggart. But first, we need to hire some troopers. Espen, a very intelligent man until a bandit knocked him over the head. Espen was forced onto the streets, digging into the trash of others to scurry away from lawmen. Only the gods know what Espen has done to survive, but he's a frail man standing before you now. E. No, I don't think we'll hire him. Aldebert always had a lucky hand in finding the best fishing grounds, so he's a fisherman. Hmm. Wolf. Wolf did not have a business acumen to protect his inheritance from debtors, lawmen, and other maleficent men. Oh, Angelina, sir. Now he wanders with the last of his crowns jangling in his pocket. But when the gang of thieves took all he had, including his shoes, he knew he needed yet another change. The world has been harsh to Wolf for many years now. That isn't going to change, but at least he will be. 
liquid. But at least you will be with brothers now. Okay, we'll hire him. Albert. Always had lucky hair. Ah, fuck off, Albert. Steiner was strong and able fisherman. As long as there was no storm, he was out there fishing day in and day out. Sadly, his fishing cabin burned to the ground while he was out at sea. Visiting the tavern one evening, a new opportunity presented itself with the promise of coin for dangerous work. Guthrum. Finding peace in a land of ruin, Guthrum became a monk. His fate was irreversibly damaged by a hellacious attack by raiders, left men castrated, women raped, and children skewered on pits. A holy book practically anchored to his wrist, Guthrum has sought the company of sellswords. Really not a fan of religious people, but fuck it. He's cheap. <sighs> Might go for um, Stinar as well. Okay, let's go to the marketplace, get ourselves some weaponry. Get a knife. What the that? Wooden flail? Nunchucks, huh? Okay, get a shield. A hood is always a good idea. Okay, I think that's everything we need for now. I'm going to equip my men. So, let's take a look here now. Do -do -do. I just realized my audio might be conflicting quite strongly with the music. I hope it's not overriding it. Do -do -do. Now, he has a shield. Actually, we are going to fix that audio problem straight away. Because I'm not wasting another video because of bad audio. There we go. That's a little bit better. So let's take a look here now. To do resume. Okay. And back to my men's inventory. So this guy is fully equipped. Wonderful. We'll give you a little helmet. Now one thing that is annoying me about the game is that there's no player character in the game. I hope at some point they actually add one, <laughs> because I'm finding it a little hard to get invested when I don't have my own player there. So let's go here now. Do -do -do. X. Can we give him a shield? We can't. We can't give him a helmet though. Well, cap. Bow and arrow. Do -do -do. We have ten arrows left. Okay, might give you an axe actually to protect yourself better. Yep, you're gonna get a spare wolf and a shield. There we go, and we're gonna give you a mace. Right. There's going to be a knife in the back pocket as well. Okay, our men are equipped. And where do we need to go? We need to go to Adler... Adlerfest. Fuck is Adlerfest? Normally you can see the city's... Um, straight away, and they are normally a lot closer. Jesus, that's a distance. That's a very unlucky uh, start point, point, actually, there. Might have to uh, find work on the road. One thing I really like about this game, the map is procedurally generated, so every time you play, it changes. So, like this map now, is the first time I've seen something like this. Every other time it's been like just a solid landmass. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Do. While we're walking, I'm going to be taking off my boots. There's a paradox for you. <laughs> Do -do. It's really, really unlucky that the city is so far away. Jesus.
very little traffic on the road, unfortunately. I don't know if that's just while it's training, um, doing like the tutorial mission at the start, but, uh, ooh, what's this? Yep, looks like we need to help the pets. Oh, shit, they killed him. One young orc and an orc berserker. Engage. Right. Be smart, lads. Be smart. We're gonna get you up high. Ooh, there's four of them. This is gonna be an interesting fight, to say the least. Five against six. Hmm. Could have been better odds, but uh, <laughs> this might be a very short playthrough. Okay, I think somebody saw us. Oh shit, there's one. Yeah, back, 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 back. Hopefully he'll engage by himself. Okay, he's coming down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fall back a bit. We only need to get more archers in the group. Have to engage this guy actually. Oh shit. More to my arriving. That's not good. Got a hit there, that's good. Shit, 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 shit. I didn't want them all coming at once. Ah. Oh, fuck me. 
need to kill this guy very quickly. Fucking archer is shit. Oh, fuck me. This is going to end badly. <laughs> Fucking hell. There goes one of my boys. 5-5 five, five now. This is not good. Be massacred. Uh, how do we run away? Shit. Uh, <laughs> so much for the early retirement club. Just got massacred again. Jesus, Hitch Christ. Well, that's the end of that play, true. <sighs> okay, so that happened. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will be doing another attempt at some point. <laughs>